I, if you were to ask me what my favourite Christmas carol is, I would have to say this one, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Um, I heard this when I was a child and I was fascinated by its kind of weird uh, minor feel. It's in the key V minor, absolutely beautiful uh, Christmas carol. So let's get started learning it on the DG Melodeon. So we're in the key of E minor, so all the Fs are sharpened. So your main row is going to be the D row, okay, because that's where your root note is, your E note. So the fourth button starts, so that's my E on the pull. So I, I consider in E minor the D row to be the main row and the G the kind of ancillary row. So I give all the notes on the D row, the normal heads, and all the notes on the G row, I give diamond heads. Four beats of the bar, but the first bar is a pickup bar. You come in on beat four on that root note E, finger two. You're in position minus one for most of this. So it means to say that your second finger is on the kind of home key, which is the fourth button. Um, if you've got a third button start, that would be the third button. So I count one, two, three, four. And play that note E, finger two on the pull. You're going to play this slowly and it's going to have lots of feel. It's not an umpa, it's kind of solid chord to the left hand. So that first note on its own, one, two, three, four. Okay? Now, next bar. It's a pull, then a push. In fact, the first three main bars are a nice kind of pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, kind of sweeping effect. Very nice to play. So we're still pulling from our first note. We've got G and then B. So finger three, then finger four. So you've got like that. And as you play the G and the B, you hold down an E minor chord and an E minor bass. Now, a lot of people, when they write the chords down for melodic music, they write them in small letters. I do that if I'm uh, putting down a major chord. If it's a minor chord, I think it looks a bit weird. So uh, I put it in a capital letter, E, and then an M, E minor. And what I want you to do here is play an E bass and an E minor chord together. So finger two on the E bass, finger one on the E minor chord. And it's the two inside buttons, top two, and you pull out for the E minor. And you just sustain that for two beats while you play the, um, the G and the B of the right hand. So, so far... Now, you're going to play that note of B again, but you're going to play it on the G row. And you will recall earlier in the lesson I said G row notes have diamond heads. You can see this one's got a diamond head. So it's on the G row and it's finger three falls very nicely onto it. It's button five on this instrument, might be button four for you. And it's a push, like I said, and you play it twice. And while you play those two push Bs on the G row, you're going to hold this chord down. Now it's B minor seventh. Now B minor seventh is a uh, B bass, this one here. So it's the same button we play for E minor, but pushing. And we put a D major chord with it. And to do that, we have to go cross row, this diagonal shape, um, a B bass underneath a D major chord. That's a B minor seventh chord. And you do that while you play two Bs. So that first main bar is and with the pickup note nice and slow, nice and sweeping, lots of feel.